or Comet's 2.2 feet shorter turning diameter, providing easier parking and maneuvering. Or Comet's interior front door lock plungers, contrasted to Tempest's combined door handle and lock control. With Comet, you can tell at a glance when the front doors are locked. And Comet's one and a half inches greater rear axle clearance lets you take the rugged Comet wagon places you might well hesitate to go with a Tempest. Now that's a fairly good indication of the overall basic design advantages you get with Comet over Tempest. Tempest is nearly two inches wider overall than Comet, yet Comet provides more front and rear shoulder room and a wider cargo area. Comet is longer overall than Tempest, yet Tempest has a longer turning diameter. Well, the evidence is clear. When it comes to the things that are really important to station wagon living, Comet is way out front of Tempest. And now, let's complete our compact wagon comparisons with a look at Rambler models in both the American and Classic series. First of all, the Rambler American wagons cannot be rated in the same class with Comet. Not only is there barely room for five adult passengers, but the American wagons provide only 57 cubic feet of cargo capacity, 23 cubic feet less than Comet. The American is more comparable to the smaller imported wagons, such as the English Ford Escort. On a suggested list price basis, the Rambler Classic Deluxe four-door wagon is $84 more than the Comet four-door and $127 more than the Comet two-door wagon. The Classic series has no two-door model, and the Deluxe is the lowest-priced Classic, with the Classic Super priced $135 higher than the Deluxe. Now let's check some Comet savings on typical options and accessories such as an automatic transmission and push-button radio. Automatic transmission, $28. Push-button radio, $11. Total savings with Comet, $38.95. Now, what does this do to the basic price picture? Powenty. It actually increases the practical price advantage of the Comet four-door wagon to $123 in comparison with the classic deluxe four-door wagon. And there is still more to the Comet Wagon's real value story. Comet's feature advantages over Classic Deluxe include dual horns and full-flow oil filter, extra cost on Rambler, body side moldings, bright roof drip moldings, fender ornaments. Now, what about styling? Aside from appointments, Comet has the kind of fine car styling no amount of money can buy in a Rambler. For one thing, Comet is a full two inches longer than classic models, with a one and a half inch longer wheelbase. Superior styling? Look at Comet's tailored flat modern roof line, level belt line, trim vertical pillars, and full depth wraparound chrome bumpers. Then look at Rambler's dipping roof line and belt line, wide diverging vertical pillars and narrow bumpers, requiring old fashioned vertical bumper guards. And inside, Compare the smart, harmonious alignment of Comet's bright metal instrument cluster and controls compared to Rambler's disjointed panel styling. Inside and out, Comet looks trim, and is. Classic four-door wagons are about 500 pounds heavier than Comet, one of the reasons why Comet is so much more economical to operate, and this is a big factor with compact car buyers. More total glass area is something Comet's proud to have for far better visibility. How much more? Over 350 square inches more total glass area than classic models. And something else Comet has more of is front seat leg room plus higher front and rear seats for a big bonus in riding comfort. And notice how the classic wagons waste cargo space by intruding the gas tank filler neck into the cargo area. And of course, the Rambler Classic can't match the loading ease provided by Comet's flush-lined level-loading tailgate with a lower platform height. And something else in basic design. Rambler advertising makes much of the Classic's new fiberglass ceiling, claiming, and we quote, it deadens road noises to a whisper. Well, Comet wagons don't rely on just ceiling treatment to do that. For example, in addition to roof, hood, doors, and quarter panel insulation, 
Comet puts a variety of sound deadeners on the dash panel, under the roof panel, on the inner side of the cowl, on and under the floor, and between the wheel housing domes and the quarter panels. All this extra sound deadening, plus Comet's rubber cushioned front suspension struts, which let the front wheels move back, up, and over bumps to lessen the shock, 28 different rubber bushings and insulators in the front suspension alone, plus the rubber cushioned front stabilizer bar, plus the unique design of Comet's rear suspension with big 50 inch springs supported by oversized rubber bushings that permit controlled fore and aft movement of the rear wheels too. All these things also contribute to that famous Comet ride, one of Comet's hallmarks among all compacts right from the beginning. So once again, you add it all up the way a prospect should, and the greater overall value of Comet shows through in every key area, not just in comparison with Rambler wagons, but measured against every other compact wagon. What do you find? The more you compare Comet to these other station wagons, the more you discover no other compact wagon really compares with Comet. <laughs>